Okay, today we're going to show you how to factory reset your Westinghouse TV without using the remote. Since you're watching this video, you're probably having a problem uh, with your Westinghouse TV and you want to reset it so you can get it working again. Now I'm going to show you in a second how to do that factory reset. Uh, but I usually recommend on most of my videos trying what they call a soft reset first uh, because that, that factory reset will basically wipe your set clean and any settings, any apps and everything that you have on there you'll need to reload. So you should probably try, if possible, uh, the reset I'm going to describe here, the soft reset first. If that does not work, I'll go on with the hard reset, uh, the factory reset, and then that should take care of your problem. Now the soft reset is really easy to do. That's all you need to do is unplug the TV from the wall. Don't turn it off by the remote. Unplug it from the wall. Wait about 60 seconds and then plug it back in. In most cases, this will solve, believe it or not, a lot of your problems. Okay, if that didn't fix your problem, we're now going to show you how to do the factory reset. Okay, I want you to look around your TV and see if you can find this little hole. It's usually labeled reset. To do the reset, I usually recommend bending a paper clip to fit in the reset hole. Push the button down for about 15 seconds until you see the TV restart. That's our video for today. As always, thank you very much for watching and please remember to subscribe.